So just like our poster says, I have a job, and you have a job, and when we do our jobs together, we can meet our learning objectives. So I'm going to read my learning objective to you. You're going to read it with me, and then I'm going to ask you to tell your partners what your learning objective is, and then I will ask a couple of people to repeat for me what the learning objective is. Pencils in the parking lot, please. Slide your papers underneath your uh, pencils and markers since you've already written your name. All right, so everything's in the parking lot. So I'm going to read to you first. Boys and girls, today we will write decimals as fractions. Read with me, please. Today we will write decimals as fractions. I'm just going to highlight one more piece. Decimals as fractions. When we write this, it's going to become that. All right? Do that one more time. Read to go. Oh, I'm sorry. Read together. Today we will write decimals as fractions. Okay, partner A, tell partner B what our learning objective is today. Today we will write decimals as fractions. Okay, and partner B, tell partner A. All right, so you can tell me then. Is Heidi here? Yes. All right, Heidi, what is our learning objective today? Today we will write decimals as fractions. Decimals as fractions. And finally, Betsy, where are you? Hi, Betsy. Today we will write decimals as fractions. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. We're going to write decimals as fractions. Okay, so let's continue to um, go down here. So there's a little thing called survey. That's my notes. All right, so I want to do a little survey real quick. Today we will write decimals as fractions. I want to know. One thumb means, oh man, decimals and fractions. I am not excited. Oh, I hope he doesn't call on me. Two, I'm a little worried, but you know, I'll give Mr. Gonzalez a chance to teach. Three, I think I'm going to get this. I feel positive. Four, all right, let's, let's get to work. Five, oh, come on, man. I, I could teach this myself. All right? One, two, three, hold up a finger that makes sense to you. Okay, we've got some fives, some twos. Oh, we're all over the map. All over the map means that there's representatives of all the numbers. So go ahead and put your hands down. So my goal in my teaching is to help the ones become twos, become threes, become fours, become fives. We'll see how far we get. Okay, here we go. Um, so we have shared our learning objective today. So let's jump to uh, what we're going to remind ourselves of that, of that we know already. Pencil in your hand, please. Okay. Now, I'm just reminded that in your copy, you cannot see that this says tenths and hundredths. So, let's work together to make sure that we have that. You have a choice, boys and girls. You can write tenths on the bottom here to remind you that that's the tenths column and hundredths down here. You're going to do that right now. Or, you can write it on top. Whatever you prefer. You. I would like you to do number one and number three. So I want you to read the directions with me, please. Here we go up top. What color pen am I holding up? Blue. blue. Follow my blue pen. Read with me. Put the following numbers in the place value chart. Then write the word form of the decimal number. Okay? So here's your first number is number one, your second number is number three, and I want you to place it in the correct place on your place value chart and then write it out in words, okay? So would you put three tenths somewhere in here and then write it out? So do number one in the right space. So what I'm looking for here is I duck down is that on the left of the decimal point, I have my ones, so there's my zero. To the first space to the right of the decimal point is called the what place value? Tenths. Tenths. So I put my three there. Okay? So just a refresher. The ones column is to the left of the decimal. The first column to the right, or the first place value to the right of the decimal is your tenths, and the second place value to the right of the decimal is called hundredths. 
So we have 0.3 decimal 3. That's the first position, first place value to the right. So that is 3 tenths. So let's also write that on the line next to it. And I will do the same for and with you. If you have not written it already, 3 tenths. And then, when you are done writing three tenths, will you do number three if you have not done number three already? All right, let's do number um, three together. The zero is in what place value? One. The ones. So there's nothing there. What place value is the four in? Tenths. Tenths. What place value is the eight in? Hundreds. The hundredths. So I have 40. Eight, because it's because I've used the the farthest to the right. Uh, that's what I define it as. I define with the farthest to the right. Forty-eight hundredths. Okay. And if you've done three and four, that's fantastic. Okay, that's fantastic. It looks like you did all right. So you know already how to use decimals. Okay. So what you're going to do with your partner is I want you to tell me, or excuse me, I want you to tell your partner, how did you know where to put the digit four and the digit eight? Okay, go ahead and tell your partner. A's start with B's, okay? How did you know where to put the four and the eight? What place value? Okay, how do you know where to put the And B's, go ahead and repeat your thinking to your partner A. That's what I want you to remember. All right? Okay, share with me your thinking. Share with me your thinking. Share with me your thinking, please. Another girl, Lily. Who's Lily? Hi, Lily. Lily, how did you know where to put the four and the eight? What do you think? Say it again. That's right. Just as we drew our little arrows above the four, the four was in the tenths place on the bottom of the screen there. How'd you know where to put the eight? Yeah, exactly. The eight was in the hundreds place. So thank you for paying attention to those place value details. That's very well done. All right. Are you on the section that looks like this, boys and girls? Yeah. Excellent job. I'm going to read to you. You're going to read with me. Does that say fraction? Yes. Okay, fraction, a fraction is a number that names a part of a whole or a part of a group. Read with me, please. A fraction, fraction is a number that names a part of a whole or a part of a group. Is a part of a or a part of a group. The key piece there I want you to remember is fraction and part. Okay, fraction and part, they go together. The numerator, as you know, is the top number of a fraction. There it is. The denominator is the bottom number of a fraction. There it is. We point to a place in the room where you see numerator and denominator. Everybody points to the place in the room other than the screen where you see numerator and denominator, and you are correct. Okay? Thank you for knowing that information. Hands down, eyes up here, please. I'm going to read to you. You're going to read with me. Decimal numbers are written with a decimal point and show amounts between whole numbers. Read with me, please. Decimal numbers are written with a decimal point and show amounts between whole numbers. Okay? So that's what a decimal is, a decimal number, excuse me. So, what I want you to remember about decimal numbers is that some fractions and decimal numbers are equivalent. And the equi here, an equivalent reminds us that it means the same or equal in value. Okay, so equivalent. Decimals and fractions are, can be equivalent. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to hold up one fist. Okay, hold up one fist, everybody. Oh, everybody back in. Will you listen, please? Here we go. Fist up. Two fists up. Okay, some fractions and some decimals are equivalent, okay, they're the same. 
Okay, I don't care how you do it, but I want you to know that decimals and fractions can be equivalent. They can be the same. I want you to know that some fractions and some decimals can be the same. Okay? They can be equivalent. All right? So say it with me one more time. We'll start with decimals. Some decimals and some fractions can be equivalent. Okay. Decimals, fractions, equivalent. Fractions, decimals, equivalent. All right. Let's see how we do with this. Now, if we remember from our definition of decimal numbers, we're talking about the parts in between whole numbers. Okay, so here's one half. Is one half a fraction or a decimal? Okay, I should say this, this differently. The way this number is written, is this number written as a fraction or a decimal? Fraction. There you go. The way this number is written, is this a decimal or a fraction? Decimal. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to read this to you. The decimal number 0 0.5 and the fraction value 1 half or 1 over 2 are both halfway between 0 and 1. Since they are equally far from 0, they are equivalent. Okay? So before we said decimals and fractions and fractions and decimals, so now we're going to name them. So would you please, we're going to call our first hand half, and we call our first um, other hand 0.5 or, or 0 0.5, okay? So, one half, one half is equivalent to, equivalent to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. One half, one half equivalent to, equivalent to 0 0.5. 0 0.5. One half, one half 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay? So, the final thing I want you to, we have lots of vocabulary in this lesson. The final piece is uh, place value charts. I'm going to read it to you, you're going to read it with me. Place value charts help show equivalent fractions and decimal numbers. Read with me, please. Place value charts help show equivalent fractions and decimal numbers. And so that's what you have on that page one, and that's what we're going to work with further down on our paper. So I'm going to scoot this up, and we're going to work with decimal chart and numbers.